Good morning everybody and welcome to Saturday Club. I'm very sorry that I'm starting slightly late. I have been having trouble with my microphone and the only solution that I have found is that I have to speak very loudly. So I do apologise if you can't hear me very well. You might want to turn up the um, volume on your um, on whatever you're using to listen to me. But um, I cannot make my microphone go any louder than it is at the moment. And I don't know why. I've been trying for um, the last half an hour to make the microphone work properly. But never mind. I am here and that's the important thing. And I hope, boys and girls, that you all had a really good Christmas. I know for a lot of you it was probably a, a different Christmas to what you were expecting. I had a strange Christmas, but it was a very special day because my nephew was born on Christmas Day. So I'm now an auntie. I'm Auntie Victoria. So um, there's a new little boy in my family called Joshua. And um, I was able to go and see him and have cuddles with him. Um, so um, that was my my best Christmas present was that I became an auntie. So um, that was very, very exciting. Um, so that was what I did at Christmas. I wonder what you did at Christmas. I hope that um, you had a good time. Maybe you went to church and I hope that you thought about Jesus and how he is the best present of all at Christmas. So um, in Saturday Club, we're going to be starting something new today, but we've got a couple more minutes. So we'll just wait and I hope that everyone's watching and had a good Christmas. So I'll say hello to everyone. So hello, Josiah. Hello, Reuben. Hello, Joel in England and then hello your cousins Brandon and Jaden and Layla and then in London we've got um oh I've forgotten my list of everyone's names I've got to remember this now Luke and Daniel and Isaac and I can't remember the last one I'm really sorry and then we've got Finley and Bethany and then in Switzerland Michaela and Matthias and Jamie and Emily and Irina and Sonia and Nina um, and Jesse. Did I say Jesse? I really need to remember to print out my name list. I'm very sorry, everybody. And then in, in Luxembourg, we've got Joffiel and Kate. And then um, in India, we've got Paul and Praslin. And of course, in Australia, hello, Ryan. I think that's everyone who normally watches. I, so, um, hello everybody and I hope that you had a good Christmas and Happy New Year. I've got my cup of tea this week. I did remember to do that, even among everything else. I remember to get my cup of tea ready. And I've been doing some work in the kitchen as well, ready for Saturday Club this morning. I had my oven on this morning. I wonder what I've been making. Unfortunately, whatever it is, you won't get to eat any of it, but never mind. You you probably don't want to because I got distracted by my computer and it's a bit burnt. But never mind. So, we're ready for Saturday Club now and it is half past nine, so we're going to start. And we're going to start as we always do by praying. So let's put our hands together, close our eyes and pray to God. Dear God. Thank you that you are with us. Thank you that you have been with us all through Christmas and New Year. Thank you that you are always looking after us. Thank you that we can come back together for Saturday Club. In Jesus' name, Amen. Right, we're going to start off by singing a song. And it's the song we always sing at the beginning. My God is so... I think I've forgotten. You'll have to sell me. My God is so 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 big that's right my god is so big so get your arms ready for my god is so big my god is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my god is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do the rivers are his the mountains are his the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And our God really is big and strong and mighty and there's nothing that he can't do. And today in Saturday Club, we're going to be learning about something wonderful that God did. So 
my our God really is so big, so strong and so mighty. Now we're going to start off by learning a memory verse and we're going to be learning some very special verses in Saturday Club over the next few weeks. We're going to be learning some verses which are things that Jesus said about himself. And then we're going to be having some Bible stories that help us to understand what Jesus said about himself. So I've got a poster here of all of the things that Jesus said about himself. And if you want one of these posters, I do have some. So if you want one, send me an email or send me a message. And if I can, I'll get one out to you. So here are all of the things that Jesus said about himself. I am the light of the world, the bread of life, the good shepherd, the door, the true vine, the way, the truth and the life and the resurrection and the life. And today we're going to be thinking about how Jesus is the bread of life. So our memory verse is a very easy one. It's something that Jesus said and Jesus said, I am that bread of life. And it comes from John chapter 6 and verse 48 that's nice and easy isn't it i am that bread of life and we've got some actions to help us learn it so we're going to start off by saying jesus said to remind ourselves that jesus said this because it's very important so we're going to point to heaven and say jesus said i am that bread of life okay can you say that with me jesus said I am that bread of life. There we are. And one more time. I am. Oh, no. Jesus said, I am that bread of life. And what I'm going to do this time is that I'm just going to do the actions. And I want you to see if you can say it. There we are. Did you manage to say it all? Jesus said, I am that bread of life. And we're going to be having our Bible story in a minute where we um where we think about what Jesus where we where Jesus said that. We're going to be reading the parts of the Bible where Jesus said that. But before we do that, we're going to sing another song. Now I want I couldn't find a good song that had all of the things that Jesus, those things that Jesus said about himself, those I am statements. But I did, I do know one about, one about Jesus being the way, the truth and the life. So we're going to learn that one. So it says, I, it goes like this. I am the way, the truth and the life. That's what Jesus said. And then we're going to sing it again. I am the way, the truth and the life. That's what Jesus said. And then we're going to say without the way there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth and the life. That's what Jesus said. And I'm trying to, it's the way, the truth. No, I don't think we have actions for way, truth and the life. Nope. I can't remember them anyway. Maybe someone can remind me for next week. So it goes like this. I am the way, the truth and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth and the life. That's what Jesus said. So it's a very easy song to learn. It's only got a few lines in it and we're going to be learning that over the next few weeks. Now, I've got something with me today. In my kitchen this morning, I put my oven on. Now, I didn't make this out of ingredients. I had it in the freezer and I put this in the freezer to bake it and it's a little bread roll. It's actually a very nice kind of bread called ciabatta and I put it in the oven and now it's on my plate, ready for me to eat with my lunch. And as I said, I think I put it in the oven a bit too long, but it doesn't matter because I'm having it with soup and I'm going to dip it in my soup. 
So I've got a little piece of ciabatta and it's a small loaf of bread. But where did the ciabatta come from? Well, I got it from the supermarket. But did it just appear in the supermarket one day? No, the supermarket would have got it from a bakery. How about the bakery? How did it get there? Well, the bakery would have made it. And what did they make it from? Well, I've got something that they made it from. They made it from some flour. That's right. They made it from some flour and some yeast. And it's, it's Italian bread. I think it's got oil and water in it. Flour, yeast, oil and water. And they would have mixed it together. And they would have kneaded it and stretched it. And then kneaded it and then stretched it. And then they shaped it into little loaves of bread. And they put it into the oven to bake. But they didn't finish baking it. Then they put it in a bag. And I took it home and put, bought it from the supermarket and put it in my freezer. And then this morning I got one out and I baked it. So that's where my bread came from. But where did the flour come from? Well, the flour came from wheat. So the flour came from wheat. So it would, it would have, um, the wheat grew in the field and the sun shone down and the grain ripened. And when it was golden, it was cut down. And then it was ground up in a mill and then it was turned into flour. And where did the wheat came from? Well, it came from a seed that a farmer sowed. And then the farmer sowed it and then the rain came and the sun shone and the plant grew. So my bread has been becoming bread an awfully long time. It took months and months and months for all of that to happen. But it will be gone in 10 minutes when I eat my lunch. And the, probably the same is true in your house. If you have bread, I expect it doesn't last very long, particularly if you come from a big family. I imagine your loaves of bread finish very quickly. So but our bread has taken a long, long time to happen, but it doesn't last very long. And then I'll have my bread for lunch, but will I not need to eat any more food today? No. I'll be wanting my dinner and before my dinner I'll probably want a snack and then tomorrow morning when I wake up I want breakfast again and then I'll have lunch again and then I'll have dinner again and I might have some snacks as well so even though it's really nice to eat things like bread particularly if it's nice and warm out of the oven it doesn't last for very long and we still get hungry but we're going to be learning about how Jesus is the bread of life and what that means so we're going to um have our lesson now our bible story and uh in saturday club all of our stories come from the bible and i wonder if you can remember how many books are in the bible can you remember there are a lot of them aren't there there are 66 books in the bible but they tell one big story, the story of God's plan to send Jesus. And today's story doesn't come from the Old Testament. It comes from the New Testament. And it comes from the book of John here in the New Testament. And John is one of four books in the Bible that were written that tell us all about the things that Jesus did when he was alive. We've got Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and today's story comes from John and I'm going to read part of it to you now so I'm going to find the book of John in my Bible and chapter 6 the book of John and chapter 6 and I'm going to read the start of that chapter after these things Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee which is the Sea of Tiberias and a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, When shall we buy bread? that these may eat. Now, 
Jesus had had a really busy day. He had spent all day in the hot sunshine, teaching and talking to people about God. He'd made lots of people who were poorly better, and now he wanted to go somewhere quiet for a rest. So Jesus and his disciples got into a boat and they rowed across the lake. Ooh, they rowed across the lake. And then when they got to the other side, they climbed up a mountain and they sat down on the grass. Whew. They could have a rest. But not for long. It didn't stay quiet. The people saw where Jesus went and they said, let's follow Jesus. They were so excited by all of the wonderful things that they had seen Jesus do that they wanted to see, go back and see Jesus do some more wonderful things. So Jesus looked up and saw a large crowd heading towards him. It was a huge crowd. There were 5,000 men and women and children. It would take a very long time to count them all. They were tired and they were getting hungry, but still they followed Jesus to see if he would do any more amazing things. Jesus and his disciples had a big problem. There were 5,000 men and women and children and they were a long way from home and they didn't have any food. But all of the people were getting hungry. Jesus asked Philip, where shall we buy bread that these people can eat? Now Jesus had a plan. He knew what he wanted to do, but he wanted to hear what Philip would say. Philip said, it would cost a lot of money to buy enough bread for everyone to just have one bite. One of Jesus' other disciples, Andrew, said, there's a little boy here who's bought a packed lunch with him. He's got five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among all of these people? Can you remember how many people there were? There were 5,000 men and women and children. Jesus knew exactly what to do. He said to his 12 disciples, tell everybody to sit down. So everyone sat down on the green grass. Then Jesus took the bread and the fish and said a prayer to God, thanking him for the food. Then Jesus broke the bread up and the fish up and gave it to his disciples and his disciples took it and they gave it out to the people and the people took it and they ate all of the bread and all of the fish and there was enough for everybody. Everybody ate until they were full. All 5,000 men and women and children. Every single person had plenty to eat. What an amazing miracle Jesus had done. In fact, there was so much food that there were leftovers. Jesus told his disciples to collect up the pieces that were left over. The 12 disciples took a basket each and they filled them with leftover bread. 12, disci 12 disciples and 12 baskets. Later, Jesus was teaching the people and he said our memory verse, I am that bread of life. Now, Jesus didn't mean that he was a loaf of bread. But when you have bread, it's something that you eat and you're full and it gives you life. Eating bread keeps us alive, like eating any other food. But the problem with bread is that when we fin when we finished eating, we get hungry again and we have to go back and eat more bread or more food. 
but Jesus was saying that he is the bread of life that lasts forever. If you believe in Jesus, the bread of life, he will give you a special kind of life that lasts forever, that's called eternal life. He will make us, um, give us life that lasts forever. After we've gone, died and gone to be with God, we will be in heaven with him forever. And this is the bread of life. This is the gift that Jesus gives us. The bread that we eat. Now, when I finish eating my bread, I'll still be hungry again after lunch. But the life that Jesus gives us lasts forever. We never need to come back to him again and say, I need more eternal life. It lasts forever. Jesus wants to give people more than just the food that they need for their bodies. Jesus wants us to give us a new life. How do we get that new life? Well, we have to come to Jesus. We have to say that we are sorry for all of our sins and the times that we break God's good law. And we have to ask Jesus to forgive us. And we have to believe in Jesus because Jesus died on the cross for us so that we could be forgiven. And if we do that, Jesus will become our bread of life and he will give us life that lasts forever and that never ends and we will go to be with him in heaven forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to pray now and we're going to thank Jesus that he is the bread of life. So let's put our hands together and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are the bread of life. Thank you that you give us a life that lasts forever with you in heaven. Help us to come to you, believe in you and ask you to be our bread of life. Amen. Right. Now, I've got some craft for you to do today. And the job that you need to do today, well, you always need a grown-up's help, but today you need, especially need a grown-up's help. Because what you need to do is to ask a grown-up to put their hands on a piece of paper and then draw round the grown-up's hands. And it needs to be a grown-up so the hands are nice and big. And then you can colour them in. So these are my hands that I've drawn round and coloured in. There we go. I drew round my hands and coloured them in. So I've got two hands there. And then you should have a printed out picture of five small loaves and two small fish which you can colour in and then cut out so here are mine one I'm going to glue them on my hands so these are like the hands of the people giving out the bre bread and the fish so here's one Two. Oh, I can't pick the bread up. Three. Four. Five small loaves of bread. Now I've got to fit my fish in somewhere. One. Two small fish. There we are. There's my craft. My hands with five small loaves and two small fish. So that's something that you can do at home. And then you can send me a picture if you want. And then I've got a take home sheet for the older boys and girls, a, an activity sheet to do. There's a crossword with questions about things that Jesus, about the, our story today. And all of the answers go in the crossword. And then on the back, there is a think box. Why did Jesus ask Philip where they could buy bread for the crowd? And then there's an unscramble the memory verse as well. So those are your activities that you can take home. 
So we're going to finish off today by singing a song. And it's a song that we haven't sung for a long time, but it's a song about Jesus. And the song is Jesus' love is very wonderful. And I think we're going to clap in the first part. So we're going to clap while we sing Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Now I need to very carefully move my computer back. Because then I have to have the room to stand up to do the so high and the so low. So are you ready? Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Should we sing that one more time? I enjoyed singing that. Are you ready? Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. You ready? So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Oh, it's really good to sing about the wonderful love of Jesus. Right, well, I will see you again next week, boys and girls. And next week, shall I give you a sneak preview? We're going to be learning about how Jesus is the light of the world. So that's what we'll be learning about next week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.